Okay, here's the Willys project. Time for an update. I think I haven't put a video on in a while. So, uh, not really sure what I had on the last videos, but I got a bit of stuff done since then. Um, don't know if I had all the springs and that on there, but they're all rebuilt in that now. So, uh, pretty sure I didn't have the front end on the other. You can see here I got a all new bearings and rotors, or uh, drums, so on and so forth. And steering linkages and pitman arms and bell cranks. Front end was completely rebuilt. Uh, nice bit of trouble actually rebuilding the front end, uh, backlashes and clearances and all that stuff, but I think I pretty well got her good. There you go. Brake lines are installed now, well, at least the front portion anyhow. You can see here, little T. Right. Here's the engine. I guess the next component for the engine would be the carburetor. I got a rag put in there now. So, and uh, the only thing that's not going to be original is the electrical system. Um, I decided to go with a 12 volt upgrade, which includes an alternator instead of the generator. So you can see here, I got a got a bracket made up that goes down there like that, and uh, there you go, and. Uh, I don't know if you could see, I made up a bracket down below for where the old generator mount used to be. There it is here. Yeah, still got to put a nut on there. So, that's that. Here's the back of the, uh, back of the front end. And uh, propeller shafts installed. Back to the transmission. All new components. Not sure if I had this before, but emergency brake and propeller shaft. I just got it hung there until it gets the rear end finished. And uh, this is my back brakes. They're ready to be installed. All new components. Sandblast it cleaned up. New brakes, new wheel cylinders, new springs. There's the other one over there. The exhaust system is completed as well now so I had to make a few mounts and stuff here and there Let's see rubber mounts in that it's the other side of the engine oil filter uh, currently I'm working on the uh, rear end waited a long time for some parts uh, my old pinion was pretty well gone Here's the rear end now. I just end up, uh, I just put one race in, uh, recalculated how much uh, pinion height I'm going to need, and uh, put the appropriate shims under that race there. And that one's pressed in now. Here's the other end of that. The dog having a lunch. Brandy. So, uh, this is going to be ready for assembly now. I need uh, a few more bearings for the. Uh, for the carrier. I got some parts over on the bench here. There's the uh, pinion that I had shipped in. Pretty good shape. I got a new bearing put on that one. And uh, the pinion itself is in excellent condition actually. So uh, once it gets going now, some shims up here, I got to recalculate all those because I got to set up the bearing preload. And uh, here's the original carrier. I got new uh, new bolts gone in here with new locking tabs. And this is the uh, this is the matched ring gear for for this pinion. Came as a set, even though they're used. But it's nice to keep the same pattern if I can. And uh, this uh, this one's in pretty good shape actually too. So here's the uh, original carrier spotter gears. So I'm waiting, uh, I got these bearings here ordered in, shims got to go down here, and I got two shims up here. This is for the spotter gear side, this is the original shim packs, and this is for the other side. And uh, there's my yoke, and uh, that's the splash ring for the oil, it's the bearing caps, all cleaned up pretty well, ready to go. So basically you want to mat now, I just got to torque these bolts down. And uh, find out the torque spec. Oh, it needs a bolt there. And uh, lock them in. 
and I'll probably set this up on some V-blocks and check the run out of the ring gear or the crown gear so uh, it may have to be rotated depending on if there's any high spots in, in this section and, and this here so just so I don't the run out is not, not too much and uh, like I say the pinion I got the other side this other bearing here order on order now so this pinion is going to end up sitting down in this rear end here like that and then my uh, my ring gear is going to going to sit in here and of course I got to adjust the, uh, the backlash by uh, by moving the ring gear ground gear left or right and of course then I got to set up bearing preload on that which is the which would be stretching the case more or less. I think it's a uh, 20 thou over uh, the case width. So that keeps the preload on the carrier bearings. Yep, so it's coming. And once I get a lot of that done, I got some new parts came in here. Um, some uh, U bolts for the rear axle. Got some hub caps that goes over the, over the bolts and that. I gotta paint those. And, uh, What's in this box? This is my uh, uh, bolts and uh, studs, nuts and studs for the uh, for the rear drums and hubs. And their rear drums and hubs are over here. So actually, that's something I can do. I can press those together. It's, uh, the hubs and the and the drums are pressed together with the studs, and they don't come apart once they're once they're put together. So there's some pieces I've already painted and some. Uh, some parts there, right shim pack. So once this goes together with these axles here, you got to set up uh, the preload for these bearings. So these will be shimmed in, and uh, and the axles butt up against a piece in the middle, and the other axle will come and butt up against that one. And then you set up the uh, set up the side clearance on the axles so there's not too much back and forth, and keeps the load on these bearings, keep them from slopping around. So some progress, steady she sails. It's, uh, it's taking some time, but it's enjoyable. I don't know what else to show you right now. When I get the rear end in, I guess I'll do a do another video. And uh, you can see the shocks there. So that one's installed now. And uh, I took that all apart and painted it up. So I'm going to have to do that with the rear ones. They're originally blue and well, they just don't go. <laughs> Yep. So slow guns. But every component is being looked at. Every part. Yep. You can see all the new studs and nuts there. So Okay. So far so good.